Hi Aquarius, it's L here to do a bonus read for you. Um, so I just felt like I needed to do a bonus read for the Aquarius. A lot is going on with the, the Aquarius people and their energy. Um, also viewership for the excuse me for the Aquarius um, videos have been up. So um, this is my thank you to you. Um, also. What I'm going to do from now on is if you comment below a yes or no question, I will um, choose about five questions to answer. I'm going to answer those questions every Friday on my live feed. So I'll pull those questions. I'll, you know, say the name where who, whoever submitted the question and I'll pull some cards and answer the question there on my live feed every Friday so if you want your question answered by Friday for free um, p comment your question below it should be yes or no um, a yes or no question don't make it too long-winded um, and I'll hopefully pray about it I'll pull your question and I'll answer it for free on my live um, that I'm gonna start doing now every Friday okay so um, that'll help some people out there who just are not at a place where they can, um, you know, afford to get a reading. So um, I hope that that's you and I hope that I choose your question. Okay, so let's get into this. All right, so I pulled five cards. This is the Aquarius where they are, where, right where they are. This is the situation. This is the obstacle. This is what's helping the Aquarius or the advice. This is the outcome. The overall energy is the Nine of Cups. So the Aquarius is hoping, wishing for emotional fulfillment. Uh, wishing for that Tenth Cup says make a wish. It could very well come true. Uh, this is you being without. Keep in mind always for those readers out there or those who just want to understand the cards. The Nines are always about separation. So you can't wish for something you already have, right? So this is a wish for something that you feel you're separated from. Person, place, thing, whatever. So um, that is the overall energy. Okay. So let's jump into it. This is the Aquarius right where they are. Wow, okay. The Knight of Swords. Charging forward. Forward movement. Progression. Um, the Knight of Swords is a... Uh, so sometimes this can govern um, a career move. This could, this is the idea, and and then the moving forward. This is fast and swift movement. This could be leaving a job quickly. You know, two, one to two weeks notice. Uh, this is um, retirement. This is. going forward and speaking your truth about a situation okay um Gemini Libra Aquarius energy this is the Aquarius okay so the situation is okay the seven of cups all right so the Aquarius has the idea right and now has the um the cups to to choose from so this is an Aquarius right now where they may be uh, fantasizing about the choices which one do I choose which is best for me there is an Aquarius who's moving forward and, and something about something and now they're at a place of which w w which do I choose I have options in this um, make a choice because choices may be fleeting you know it's not always going to be there for you um illusion disillusion this is about a situation being sometimes good sometimes not so good maybe broken promises here uh, that's the situation the Aquarius 
uh, is resting in emotional confusion because there are choices there are options or there is illusion there there's confusion within the the emotional state when there is confusion uh, there's typically an outside source um, there's interference in how you're thinking and maybe rationale and logic have been extracted from this this situation and you're too emotional about it so we might need to take on some of that Aquarius energy and start to be rational and logical about the situation write things down what makes sense what doesn't make sense then you can come to a real uh, concrete decision uh, choice or at least you can view it on paper and uh, gain some clarity there's no clarity here all right so what what is this card obstacle the three of pentacles right this might be an Aquarius who feels like they're in the dark about something um, because it, it looks like it might be out of the Aquarius control just a bit uh, it says gain control by choosing a cup the sevens are about the chariot about progression forward um, success but it's also about the journey so regain control of the journey of the situation that you're in by being definite in your choice and your decision um, get your emotions under wraps uh, in check so that you are resting in logic and rationale uh, maybe a 50-50 a emotional how do you feel about the situation and then what you know about the situation uh, by way of thought process okay so this may definitely might be about the building the creation of a, a particular job business the Aquarius may be um, trying to change position, change career course, start something new. There's a lot of idea and uh, thought and um, illusion surrounding this new start. The obstacle for the Aquarius is how do I build this? Or for some of you, how do I rebuild it? Or how do I, yeah, how do I build this? Or rebuild? Maybe with the Capricorn Virgo Taurus. Some of you are confused about maybe letting a person back in. Person, place, or thing. Or how do I build? Or rebuild? Or maybe you're getting recognition from some of you. You you are either a word, the cheating spouse, or or vice versa. And then you're getting recognition from trying to rebuild, trying to reestablish here. Your partner may be recognizing that, or you're just kind of like in the build, the rebuilding phase, or the building phase. If you have a business, it's okay. I'm trying to build. Uh, the advice or what's helping you the Queen of Cups Cancer Pisces Scorpio uh, your intuition your willingness to give and receive love to be open to the cup of love some of you are doing like manifestation work in regards to love and you're know, lighting the candles the red or pink candles some candle magic the rose incense uh, um, cones and and so forth and, and just praying about um, true love coming into your life for self first and then of course to to um, give out to to create to partner with um,
which helping you is the queen of cups also it could be a mother mother figure the mother of your children your male Aquarius you are a mother she looks like she's with child here I don't know if you can see it okay but um what's helping you some of you have a wife she's still open to giving love the only thing that concerns me is the knight of swords is going this way and then the queen of cups is looking that way we'll figure it out the outcome is the king of cups then i say like a marriage or a dynamic a dynamic duo right somebody's rebuilding someone is confused about letting something or someone back in uh, there might be an Aquarius who has a Cancer Pisces Scorpio who wants to come back. Or the, the Aquarius wants to go back to the Cancer Pisces Scorpio. The King of Cups, the outcome is that someone is reserved in their feelings. They know deeply how they feel. This is also someone who keeps exes in their energy. They're, they keep the ex or exes um, typically close. It feeds the, the uh, ego to be able to um, always have other available. Now, whether or not they're going all the way with the exes, you know, cheating or whatnot, that's, you would only know that. That's your situation. But this is a person whose ego is fed by, by that. This is also the Libra man in love. That A lot of times, that's what card comes up for the Libra man when he's in love. Let's clarify just a bit and then we'll jump over to the other side to really drill down on what this is. The Knight of Swords for the Aquarius. Why is the Aquarius the Knight of Swords? The Seven of Wands. I knew it. So the Aquarius may be working on, working toward uphill battle in regards to either career and finance or trying to win something or someone back. Uh, this person may have blocked you energetically or physically blocking. Uh, the Aquarius is trying to regain control here. Uh, or, or trying to stay in control. It's good and bad in this situation. Um, the Aquarius may have blocked someone else in... They're trying to stay in that ground here. It says, if this is business, then no, this is Seven of Wands. Know that it's going to be tough. You know, but the journey, the process. Trust the process. What is the Three of Pentacles? here bit definitely the emperor is a business owner someone established someone older someone wise someone who makes decisions uh, over a good or great number of people um, this could be a business partner or there could be legal issues in regards to this could be anything the father of your children legal issues in regards to a business a partnership or contracts the queen of cups and the king of cups what can you tell me about okay some of you trying to sell a business here too start and sell for some of you 
You're trying to get what you want, the money you want in regards to Knight of Cups. For those in marriages or long-standing relationships, it looks like the Aquarius is trying to um, offer their cup. Apology, I'm sorry. I, I feel like this is an apology. Some of you are divorcing. And it might be a situation of trying to get the money, alimony, child support. Yep, then the star card shows up for the Aquarius. Someone maybe, tr so it's one or two ways. You're trying to go back to somebody else, Aquarius, trying to make up. Somebody's trying to make up to you. Um, who's trying to make up to whom? Let's ask that question. I think I'm going to need another deck just so I can have... Put this nine of cups here. What can you tell us about the knight of cups and the star? This is wish fulfillment too. This is healing, restoration. Somebody's trying to heal a connection, a marriage. Um, this is pregnancy too, like a miraculous pregnancy as she's pregnant someone wants to be pregnant someone will be pregnant then the nine of cups I, it's so much going on here I mean it could be any and everything this is give me two more cards and then we're going over to the website seven of wands again the queen of pentacles yeah that really clears up uh, four of wands at the bottom of the deck um, so this is definitely about a relationship, the stability of the relationship. Um, someone's trying to fight for. This is an Aquarius trying to fight for or trying to win over the, Cap the Capricorn Virgo Taurus or vice versa. This is an Aquarius blocking out the fact that maybe a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising. Everybody's here. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, trying to block out the fact that maybe this is a this is Taurus too, Aries. Someone wants to rebuild with the Aquarius. The Aquarius is trying to block this out. Um, we're going to see why the Aquarius is trying to block this out. Um, yeah, the, the Aquarius is really trying to stand firm in uh, what they said they were never going back to. They made the choice to choose themselves and now they, they rest firmly in growing this situation in a new direction or going in a new direction also this is an Aquarius trying to sell or buy something they're trying to get this standing firm in their price it says be assertive you got the seven of wands twice be assertive um, about pricing or you get if you have a business or about selling um, buying be assertive you'll get what you want what you wish for um, it'll bring you great stability so many issues here all right so make sure that you comment below your question your question could be answered live this Friday um, so make sure you comment a yes or no question we don't need a three-part question because then your question won't get selected so you kind of cut yourself out so yes or no question if you feel like um you know you you want to do that go ahead and take advantage of that be sure to comment below also we're going to clarify just a little bit more about the situation for the Aquarius um over at the website it's always two dollars to gain a bit more clarity about your situation especially if you feel like it resonates with you thus far 
um aquarius know that i'm praying for you pray for me as well take care guys